What is up everybody? My name is Gearson and today we're going to be talking about the Sony 85 1.8 lens. If this is your first time to my channel, like I said, my name is Gears and I'm a wedding filmmaker alongside my wife and together we're Repreza Weddings. Definitely consider subscribing for more filmmaking tips and tricks and everything gear and tech camera gear related because I just love that stuff. So today we're going to be talking about the Sony 85 1.8 lens. I recently got this thing. I think I've had this for about a month now. Um, shot some weddings on it, taken some fun photos with it. Uh, but mainly just used it for video purposes. A little bit about the 85 millimeter focal length. It's a more up close, more intimate, more in your face uh, focal length. It's very, very up close. So I personally love using this uh, at the beginning of wedding days, like when we're filming the details, preparation of the bride and groom, preferably more controlled environments, not when everything's kind of like going crazy or anything. Cause I feel like with this lens, it's very up close. Uh, so you wanna be very, very precise on what you're shooting. So I think that's very, very important to take into consideration. And I love using this, especially for the whole, right after the ceremony, the, the portrait, the couple portraits, when it's just the bride and groom, uh, I love using this for just very up close, intimate looks. I think it looks beautiful, and especially with this lens at 1.8, uh, you know, you just get that really nice bokeh, uh, and it looks super dreamy. Uh, I love it. It looks really, really good. I think it looks very beautiful when it's just when you're just shooting your subject and everything else is just kind of you know blurred, out of focus. No pun intended, but no, I mean that's what it is. I think it looks really, really great. The only downside about this lens is that, that there is no image stabilization, but if your camera has in-camera stabilization, then you should be totally fine. I think my camera stabilization was probably off. I did notice a little bit of jitters in there, um, but it wasn't a big deal. I just put some warp stabilizer and it was honestly great. Um, but again, I love this lens. I cannot recommend it enough. It is just super light. It's compact. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is, but it's it really is super light. Um, and it's great. It's straight to the point. The big focus ring right here. You got your switch, autofocus and manual focus. Your manual focus button right here. Um, it's great. It's a super clean, super clean lens. I absolutely love it. As far as photography goes, I haven't really used it too much for photos. I got some pictures of my dog uh, while we were at the park and I think they look great. I mean, I, I think it's super sharp. You know, the, the, it always captures the subject, super, super sharp, really nice spoke in the background. I absolutely love it. I think it looks super cool. It just gives a really nice, uh, dreamy kind of look. I just really love the shallow depth of field that this lens gives you. It's absolutely amazing. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like this video. It definitely helps me out and consider subscribing. Lively wants to say bye. Come here, Lively. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say bye, Lively. Bye. Tell everybody bye. Say peace. Peace. All right. See you.